Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of writing inequalities. This is standard 7.10a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 50 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have Jeff and he's buying a water bottle for $2, buying some hot dogs for $3 each. He did not spend more than $14 in the hot dogs in the water bottle and we need to find an inequality to find H, the number of hot dogs that he could have bought. So let's back up and see exactly what's going on. So Jeff is buying a water bottle for $2, so that's a given. So I'm just going to write this 2 right here. He bought some hot dogs, and take a look at this, H, the number of hot dogs. So that is our unknown is H. That makes sense. We represent hot dogs with H. So for $3 each, all right, so I'm going to do H hot dogs times my $3. So one hot dog will be $3. Two hot dogs would be six dollars, three hot dogs would be nine dollars, so on and so forth. So he did not spend more than fourteen dollars on the hot dogs and the water bottles. And so you notice that we what we've got over here is we've got greater than or less than and equal to. So it did he doesn't exactly spend fourteen dollars. It doesn't say that, because if so we would put an equal sign and we'd be done. He did not spend more than, okay? So this is where it gets kind of tricky. Because if we just look at more than, it would look like greater than, right? More than means greater than. But that would mean that what he spent is greater than $14. And it says he did not. So actually, we need to flip this. So if he did not spend more than, then that means he spent less than. So see how that's kind of tricky. You have to read the whole thing. He spent less than $14. He did not, but it doesn't say that he couldn't spend $14. And take a look at all of my answers. They've all got that greater than or equal to. So I'm going to go ahead and put that greater than or equal to because it says he did not spend more than 14 but it doesn't say he spent less than 14 by saying this, did not spend more, what you're saying is less than or equal to, because he did not go over 14. All right, so we've got a multiplication there. We've got a less than or equal to 14. What are we doing with this $2 and then, well, if we're going to spend $2, we need to add that to the total of the hot dogs, and that's going to get us this equation now. Do we have anything that looks like that? Okay, all of these have uh, the three. Okay, they flip these two. That's fine. So I've got three H. We can drop our dollar sign here. And then we've just got uh, an addition, right? This is a positive two. So this is two plus. So the two dollars for the bottle of water plus $3 per hot dog is going to be less than or equal to 14. So it looks like if I were to flip these two right here, we could say this right here, 3H plus 2, less than or equal to 14, looking like G. So let's see if, let's see if 3 works, right? Could H be 3? So let's put a 3 right here. So if you bought three hot dogs, right, three hot dogs, that's going to be nine bucks. Add the two, that's going to be 11. Yeah, that could work. So looks like I've kind of got this set up correctly. What if my H were uh, five? Well, that'd be a problem, right? Because that's 15 bucks. It's already more than that 14. And see, look, that breaks this because this doesn't work anymore. That'd be 15, 17. So yeah, here is our answer, 3H plus 2 is less than or equal to 14G.